have a quick teardown video for you today on the Philips Series 3000 shaver. Try and keep this as short as possible. The first thing you'll need tools wise is a Torx T8 bit. I thought I'd do this because I had a few questions about tearing down the unit and taking the battery out. So the first thing to do is to take the bottom screw out on the back, just one of those, and there are two at the top. These are easy to spot because they're under the foil head. They're quite long screws, so you will need to spend a few seconds just unscrewing those completely. So that's three screws you need to remove in total. And once you've got that out, pull the head off. You can see there is a lot of dirt and debris that's built up over the last couple of years on this shaver. I'm using a plectrum, just something that's hard plastic to help prise the case open. It's quite a thick one, so it doesn't bend much. Anything that's similar will do the job. What I would suggest is not using a screwdriver if you're going to be putting this back together because you could damage the casing. The plastic on this is quite flexible. It doesn't seem to crack easily, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. So once you're prising it around, just start pulling it off at the same time. The back part of the casing is a bit easier. You don't need to put too much effort into taking that off. Then all we have left is the middle section. Again, you can see a lot of dirt has accumulated on this. This is the battery with the switch and the power indicator. So just pull that out, comes out quite easily. This is the only part of the unit that is sealed, hence the dirt in all the other areas. There are four plastic tabs on each side that you need to take off in order to get at the battery and the circuit board. If you get stuck, you could use again, something plastic that doesn't have too much flex, or again, a screwdriver, just carefully prise that open. Pull up the PCB, and then you're gonna see the battery. It is quite a small battery, I have put the size up there on screen for you. It's about the size of an AA cell. So if you want to replace the battery, that's the size that you're looking for. Both ends of the battery are soldered in place, so you won't be able to take that out unless you just put a soldering iron on there quickly just to remove that. So do bear that in mind. I will just quickly show you the reassembly now. Only thing to really look out for here is that you didn't pull those tabs apart too much otherwise it won't fit back that well. So if you're gonna be reusing this, you're just fitting the battery, I would suggest taking it a bit slower and not doing too much, pulling and yanking around on the plastic because you could potentially push it out of shape. If you're just recycling the battery, obviously that's not gonna matter much. You can just fire away with a screwdriver and doesn't make any difference. I find it easier to put the bottom screw in first, that way it holds things together and then fit the top part that's a bit trickier because you have to push the plastic under the lip, but once you've got that in place, you'll see it snug all the way around, and then it should fit absolutely fine in all the other areas. Just to finish off, put those two screws back in place, and then you can slot the head part into the mechanism at the top, and there you go, job done on that. Any questions, any thoughts, do let me know in the comments section.